Yeah. Bodies. So. Fluorescent. <laughs> Hi, Amanda Cordner. I am co-creator, co-producer, and performer in Body So Fluorescent. And I'm David Di Giovanni, and I am the director and co-creator and co-producer as well <laughs> for Body So Fluorescent. Yeah. So Body So Fluorescent follows two friends who get into a horrible fight at a party the night before. So this play takes place the morning after as both these friends are trying to retrace their steps to figure out what happened last night. Amanda and I have been friends since high school, uh, since grade nine drama class. Yes. A and uh, we moved away uh, for school. And then uh, when I was moving back to Toronto, we were like, we haven't created something together. Why don't we create something together? Uh, and around the same time, there were two uh, articles that were written. One was from uh, Time Magazine and it was called uh, Dear White Gays, Stop Appropriating Black Female Culture. And the other one was Dear White, white Gays, Don't, Don't Listen to Time Magazine. Magazine. So it was just this kind of two conversation pieces that began as uh, the inspiration for um, a 25 minute version of this piece uh, that uh, played at the Rhubarb Festival in 2016. Yeah. And I actually reread those articles recently. There's just so much pain in them from both sides both calling out each other and I forgot, like that's what pinched us to create this piece. Yeah, I just remember people coming up to us and being like, I do that. <laughs> I didn't know, but I do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but also like, you know, yeah. we performed it in the Masonic Temple in Stratford as yes. part of the Springworks Festival. And there was just, you know, the lady who was in charge of the snacks at the back, who was like, I was always the friend who was holding the coats in the back, you know, that yes. different people who may not necessarily inhabit the spaces that are inhabited in this particular show have found Connection. ways in yeah. to the, I guess, the dynamic of the friendship. Well, I guess first off today, at the beginning of rehearsal, I was feeling a little emotional because I was saying that when Amanda and I were 17 years old, uh, living in Vaughan, uh, we sought out theater in Toronto and buddies, because you know we would take school trips to Stratford and Shaw and Mervish, and, but uh, there was a show that was happening here at Buddies and it was called Monster and it was by Danny McIver and we had no idea what else it was. Yeah. And we came to see it and it was a one person show that sort of changed our lives. Yeah. We were like, wow, <laughs> theater could do this? Yes. And we had that experience <laughs> together. So yeah. like, not only is it sort of uh, amazing just to be in the space where it happened with our own, yeah. Solo show. <laughs> I know. Um, but yeah, of course, it does feel like coming home because the last time we were here, it was the little 25 minute version seven years ago. Yeah. And, you know, add in a pandemic and add in some like aches and pains and <laughs> anxieties and depression and what, you know, and it's just like we're different people now. So it feels like uh, a landing. Our feet. We always wanted this show to be in a main stage season. And this is the first, like we've done the touring circuit, but this is the first time that we really get a full kind of run to it. And for it to happen here, it's just like there are different levels to like why that's so uh, meaningful. Yeah. Yeah. And we hope Daniel McIver comes to this <laughs> show. <laughs> you know, our 17 year old baby selves. Come on down to Buddies in Bad Times Theater to see Body Soap Fluorescence, April 11th to the 23rd. 7.30 showtime, 2 p.m. matinees. See you there. <laughs> <laughs>